when we look at the materials around us, some things become apparent. One of the things is that we obviously have different physical states. So let's look at the three common physical states. So we're going to um, let me have one of these questions up here. But we're going to be expected to know that and answer questions like this. So for gas, we circle the correct. Uh, is the volume definite or variable? But gases expand, so we definitely have a variable uh, volume. And they by expanding, they're also changing the shape. So we have variable shape. So when we look around us, most of the things that we have are made up of multiple things. They're mixtures. Let me zoom in on the, the mixture definition here. So the categories that we have are mixtures. And mixtures have variable composition and properties. So that's what we look for to find mixtures, is that they have variable composition or properties. And mixtures can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. Uh, heterogeneous, we have different properties throughout, different colors, different textures, different properties throughout. Homogeneous would be uniform properties throughout. It appears the same wherever we look on that. So if we have consistent composition of properties. Then we're dealing with a pure substance, but a pure substance can be one or two things, a compound or an element. So both compounds and elements have definite composition and constant properties, but a compound we can break down 
some way. So for water, if we stick a, the electrodes of, of a battery into a water, we can see a bubble. We are forming two gases, one on each electrode, twice as much gas on one electrode, half as much on the other. And the one that has twice as much will explode if we're not careful. The one that has half does not explode. So we broke that pure substance of water down into something else. So that means it is a compound. So if we can break it down as a compound, if we can't break it down as an element. So definite composition, constant properties, be either compound or element. If we can break, break it down as a compound, if we can't break it down as an element. So let's play with these a little bit. So I'm going to characterize all these based on this system here. So uh, this is a question from one of the, um, the double-sided worksheets. So 14 karat gold, is it a mixture, or compound, or an element? Element. I should leave the next one down there. Well, gold, we know gold's an element, so does that make that an element? Well, if you buy gold, you know that pure gold is 24 karat. So 14 karat is not pure. And we can get that at any concentration that we want. We can go down to a 10 karat, we can go up to a 20 karat. So that means variable composition, so it's not a compound. So we're dealing with a mixture. And if we don't have any diamonds on it, we look at the gold, it's uniform throughout. So that would make it a homogenous mixture. We have a homogenous mixture for 24 karat gold. If we stuck a diamond ring on that, it would turn it to a heterogeneous mixture. So blood, well, is it uniform throughout? And if you donate blood, you know that they, separate whole blood, red blood cells from the plasma. So we can separate it out. So that means it's a mixture. And since we can end up with a liquid and a more solid form, it's a heterogeneous mixture. So clear seawater. So clear, we can't see anything in there. So it looks uniform throughout. Is it a homogenous mixture, compound, or element? Well, what do you know about seawater? Well, it tastes salty. But if we go to um, different seas, we can get a uh, different amount of saltiness. So if you go to the Salton Sea uh, in the Southern California desert, uh, it's really salty compared to uh, the Pacific Ocean. So that means it has a variable composition. So it's a mixture that we're dealing with. But since it's uniform throughout, it's a homogenous mixture. A flawless diamond. Well, you might have to know a little bit about diamond and diamond is a form of carbon. Flawless, we don't have anything else that we can see in there. So it's, homogenous, and if there's nothing else in there besides the carbon, then we have just a pure element. Distilled water, so distilled water removes all the impurities of water, so we just have uh, water. So this has uniform properties, it's always the same. Um, is it a compound or an element? Well, I talked about that we can stick the electrodes of battery in there and we can separate the water into two gases. Those two gases are actually hydrogen and oxygen. So that makes water to be a compound. Stainless steel. Well, that's a metal, you know that. Um, steel, the basis of steel is iron. But it's stainless. Most iron is will corrode, so it's stainless. And one of the um, 
measures of stainless steel is that it's non-magnetic, whereas iron is magnetic. Plus, if you go and look for stainless steel online, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different types of stainless steel. So they have different properties, variable composition, variable properties. So we're dealing with a mixture. But if you take the stainless steel, break it apart, it looks the same throughout. So it's a homogeneous mixture. And this is true with all alloys, such as brass. Brass is an alloy with copper and most likely zinc and some other metals. So there's a whole different types of brass. Brass and bronze used to be treated as two separate things. We tend to treat them as a continuum now. But if we take some brass and open it up, it looks the same throughout. So again, it's a homogeneous mixture. So stainless steel also is an alloy. Red food dye from the store. So we go buy some dye to dye some eggs. So it's a liquid and it has color to it. Well, the liquid is primarily water. So it's water with dye in it. And that's why I said from the store, because if you are making your own stuff, you can buy food dye as a pure chemical and mix it in with your own water. But from the store, we get it as a liquid in water. So that would make it a homogeneous mixture. How about a tomato? If we look at a tomato, it has a uh, a thick skin, it has some fleshy pulp, it has some seeds, so the properties are changing throughout. So that would mean a heterogeneous mixture. 